precipitation, which would be snow, is not even reaching the ground. So once again, we're looking at the heavier rainfall down south from Norfolk, Virginia to around, uh, well, uh, all the way down towards Cape Hatteras. And uh, we'll be looking at more of that during the course of the day, too. Precip right now beginning to expand uh, very rapidly on towards the east. So overall, it doesn't look all that bad, especially in Georgia now, things beginning to clear out. Same thing for the Western Carolinas a little bit later on. And you can see a little twist in the motion right here. Again, we are looking at some enhanced precipitation, mostly some light to moderate snowfall coming down. That will be re-entering the picture for Washington and also Baltimore within the next few hours. There's been a break in the action, very light precipitation. It looks like you could be looking at something a little bit steadier and a little bit heavier coming up, but still, we're talking at best a couple of inches of snowfall with temperatures still holding in the middle 30s. Let's put your Weather Channel maps. Weather information you can plan on only on the Weather Channel. Again, we'll talk about a storm system that dumped some heavy snow and rain over the central and southern plains during the last couple of days and has now moved into the mid-Atlantic region. Good morning. I'm Will Annan. And I'm Rick Griffin. Thanks for joining us. The storm brought snowfall overnight to Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. And the storm brought snow to D.C. this morning and will move off the eastern uh, seaboard by this afternoon. Well, yes, winter. Well, believe it or not, you may double that snow total in D.C. before the day is out because you've already picked up about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch and another few inches of wet snow are anticipated in D.C. as the day unfolds. You see what we've got going on is low pressure developing coastal Carolinas and this low will scoot out to sea in an east-northeasterly direction in its wake pretty widespread area of precipitation. Now the question is will the snow affect Boston or New York City. And we'll check this out in the forecast in just a second. But the thinking is right now that the heaviest snows will be south of Boston, south of New York City, maybe affecting the eastern tip of Long Island, Martha's Vineyard, and Cape Cod overnight tonight with a quick burst of uh, six inches of snowfall. But we think the major cities like Boston, Providence, Hartford, and New York City will be spared in this case, even though it looks like the snow is edging into your direction right now, in your vicinity. But in actuality, the leading edge of the snow is pretty much evaporating before it reaches the surface, and that scenario may continue throughout the day. Let's close in on that snow aloft near New York City, Allentown, and Williamsport. As you head farther south, snow is falling in Philadelphia, Baltimore, and D.C., and then a rain-snow-sleet mix from Richmond southward. Just plain rain and Virginia's tidewater right now, Norfolk Newport News. Back to the uh, Ohio Valley, some light snow near Cleveland, also in Charleston. Jackson, Kentucky, moderate snowfall. Roanoke, Virginia, moderate snows too. While it's all rain here in eastern uh, North Carolina, and eastern South Carolina. Temperatures are chilly, but not as cold as they could be this time of the year. We're definitely looking.